Hey guys and welcome to today's video where I wanted to sort of document a day in the life of a crested gecko because whenever I'm like researching an animal you know it's good to know what tank size they need uh, what they eat and all of that sort of thing but sometimes it's nice to just sort of know what it's like actually day to day owning one of these animals so I'm going to do one today on crested geckos and then another day I'll do a leopard gecko one. So first of all, I just woke up so I'm going to give her a little spray down. Um, what I do like to do is I can spray the floor, help with the humidity, but in terms of spraying down the glass, I usually spray it near where she is so she actually gets a drink. You may notice a lot of watermarks, that's something you will get usually if you have a crested gecko or types of gecko that you need to spray down the uh, sides we'll get onto that in a bit but first let's spray her down <laughs> So obviously this is a morning and pretty much the rest of the day is going to be quite similar with your crested gecko. Um, they will sleep and sometimes they're out in the open like Lyra is on her snake plant. Sometimes they might be out in the coconut and other times they might be fully hiding. So say you have a plant you know that you can suction cup on the side sometimes they hide behind there really you want to provide enough hides that if they want to they can hide away from you completely but if they feel confident enough they'll come out and if that doesn't happen straight away don't worry obviously when you first get a crested gecko they're getting used to you and their new environment and you want them to feel safe and eventually they may be like lyra where they're just like i'm gonna lay out here you might be lucky as well though you might have a crested gecko who's just gonna layout anyway but this is pretty much your view of your crested gecko throughout the entire day so obviously they're crepuscular and they need sleep so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave her alone for the rest of the day but before that i will actually wash down her walls so obviously this isn't like a daily thing you don't have to wash down the glass daily but it is something you're gonna have to do um, most waters will leave watermarks on the glass so I'm going to clean down the front two doors just because I might try to film some night fishing footage and I need the glass to be really clear did I just say fishing I meant vision so it's early <laughs> It looks like she's on the move. Now usually the geckos will just sleep. Sometimes after I spray down the tank she will move but it might be because I'm here cleaning her windows that she's just like I'm getting out of here. Okay so Lyra's moved. I've done the glass doors. They're still a little bit foggy because I don't know I think they're drying. Sometimes this jar can be really good, sometimes it's a little iffy, but I'll leave it to dry. I'm going to now leave Lyra to settle because this is what she has chosen right now. It doesn't seem quite comfortable. And I'm going to return about midday and every hour onwards to take a few seconds of footage to show you what it's really like throughout the day with a crested gecko. And here's some bonus Drago footage because I also spray him down in the morning too. <laughs> So now it's 6pm and her LED has gone off So as you could tell she doesn't really move that much That's quite normal You'll find your crusty gecko will find a place to sleep And do that all day and they should be left So if you want a pet that you can like handle during the day, a crested gecko isn't for you. So it's eight o'clock and Lyra is doing her best red eye tree frog impression. <laughs> Squished to the glass, but she does seem a little more alert. So let's go and see her. You all right? Let's pull this leaf back. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at that wrinkly head. <laughs> Lyra, you've been squished. Now, some people do ask me, is it okay to put on your room light during the evening? Is this going to disturb the geckos? What I have observed is it doesn't necessarily disturb the leopard geckos. As you can see, Minnie is still scratching away. 
but it can stop you know crested gecko or chihua in their tracks they will just stay in one place a bit if you have like a little lamp on in the room and the majority of the room's kind of dark or dim it should be fine i have quite a bright light and um usually lyra will stay still so I thought this would be a great time to talk about handling your crested gecko because obviously in the evening that's a great time to get them out, they're full of energy. As you can see I've got my room light on and she's still active and you know rel like really normal. I will say if you have lower light they may be even more like, jumpier and I would say if you're offering feeder insects it may even be better to offer them feed insects in a lower light setting because they seem to do a lot better, the pupils are a lot bigger, they're used to hunting at night in the wild so it makes sense. But you can have your room light on when you are handling them. There you go. Now as you can see with Lyra she does jump but that's normal and I would totally encourage that, it's good, it's good exercise, it, it shows she is very good at what she naturally should be able to do and you can just adjust your hand and they do give you a bit of a warning, you can kind of feel them tensing up and aiming when they go to jump. So she is, she's thinking of an area. There you go. So, they're great pets handling wise. They're not ideal, if you're not used to things jumping, you know, it takes a time. A leopard gecko is much easier to just handle, it just goes hand to hand. Um, but definitely a cool pet. Funnily enough though, if you do put them on the floor, they jump on the floor, they can go quite quickly across the floor, so watch out for that. Their tail can obviously drop off and it doesn't regrow, so watch out with that. Never get your crested gecko out with a dog or a cat in the room because look at this thing. They will definitely go after it. I don't care how much you trust your cat or dog, uh, I would never get her out around any of like my cat. Anyway, I've been rambling, but I hope this is kind of cool to see. I wanted to just get her out and chill and handle her like I usually do this a lot later when I'm getting ready for bed when I'm in my pajamas watching family guy just chilling out but I didn't want to really like vlog that because that's just a bit weird um so I thought I would just show this a little earlier on in the day but as you can see she is full of energy she's very alert and she's doing good now I did feed her just yesterday which is poor planning on my part so we don't actually have to feed her but I would always feed my gecko in the evening time and I just pop it up in the corner on her little shelf and she goes and eats it when she wants. Now, one thing I will try to do before we finish this video, and I've been rambling for a while, is I'm going to set up a night vision camera and hopefully there's a reflection on the glass and hopefully we can capture what she does in her tank uh, whilst I'm out of the room. You can jump again? Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, that was actually only about 45 minutes worth of footage but I had to really speed it up. But it goes to show like once those lights are off, if you're out the room, they walk around quite a lot. I will say she gets even more active the later we go, this is only about 10 o'clock right now. Um, at night I will hear her like thud on the side of the... Um, 
on the side of the glass or if she's jumped on a plant um so she's very active but it's not like if you had a crested gecko in your bedroom it's not too disturbing like at the moment obviously i've got the leopard geckos that are scratching and that is more disturbing but um yeah they they're definitely bedroom friendly in terms of sound at night but the last thing for us to do as i'm not feeding her tonight she had some food yesterday that's all nice and good in there is uh, I'm gonna spray down the tank this will help raise the humidity and give her a nice drink throughout the night um, if you did want to know what camera I use for that night vision it's actually really good I've used it before with the geckos I will link it below if I can find it I did buy it quite a while ago but um, yeah if you're interested in filming your geckos as well it doesn't seem to disturb them which is nice but yeah, anyway, I hope this video has been insightful, hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you for watching guys, and goodbye!